to Sudo Emma. I'm Emma and I'm Sudo Emma on Instagram and YouTube and other various social platforms. So today's vlog is finally my time. <laughs> Even though I asked for it to be late November, I'm kind of thankful for that. It is my time for a gift to November. <laughs> It's the 22nd and yeah, I'm so excited to share with my ideas what I would like to do and what I've done in previous years. Um, yeah, so first off, you probably heard, you probably know like by heart what this challenge is and who it's by and uh, yeah. So this incentive is to get you started before you leave it to the last minute. It's to sew up gifts before a certain religious holiday on the 24th, 25th, 26th. Yeah, you know that jazz. But it doesn't have to revolve around that. Um, the gifts can be for any occasion. New home, christening, um, birthday other religious celebrations, anything, you know? So, yeah, this challenge was also brought to you by the lovely Alison of So Like Dotty and the fantastic Adam from Adam Sews. They both got YouTube and they're both on Instagram as well. So go and check them out. I will link them in the box below so you can go and check them out if you haven't already know done so or know of this challenge or if you stumbled across my challenge and going what the heck Emma there you go so yes so basically you sew something up um it doesn't have to be a garment for a person it could be for a dog or a cat or a baba or yeah something like that so it doesn't have to be a garment it could be a bag as well um yeah so yesterday was dizzy quilt and sews and also the lovely christine who sews a lot who i did a collab early on this year um it was a high sophie blouse by dear and doe and today it's me and so carol and tomorrow it's Mary Sews. So yes, I have got notes in front of me to keep me right. Now, you post the actual garment or piece that you sew in, gift that you sewn up on the 30th of November. Anything beforehand, it gets a gift to November WIP. Hashtag. You can enter as many times as you wish, but similar products. So if you did five handbags, the same pattern, that would be classified as one gift if, or one entry. Um, so if you did a face cloth, a um, bag, a laptop, they're all different entries. But if you do multiple of the same item, they're classified as different entries. Uh, the same entries. Dear me. So, almost getting it wrong while I'm talking about it. So, before I get into the nitty gritty and talk to you what I've done in previous years, um, I just would like to say, if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that little like button. It would mean the world to me and I'm so happy that you've come to watch my video. Thank you so much. So, okay. So, last year I definitely made some presents for people. One was a face cloth and a makeup bag for my stepmom. We've not given official titles but yeah she's my dad's new partner married 
in September last year. So it has been a year. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was a year in September this year. So yes, I am trying to fix dates in my head here. <laughs> so I made her a lovely little makeup bag or a toiletry bag with some face cloths that match the materials of the inside and the outside. And it's like a wee set and she loves them. She uses them quite frequently because they go and watch horse tracing around about the UK. So they have overnight stays um, or weeks away round these horses so yes um yes so she really enjoyed that i used the so so easy pattern for the makeup bag and i just made up face cloths like i just did squares of um old face cloth towel things i got them in a bundle from ikea and i hadn't used them so they were like a stash so i just basically cut squares of them same size as a fat quarter and um they were about that yeah they were about square like that so really easy so i sewed right sides together turned it inside out left the gap and then i just sewed up the gap when i turned it the right way around so there we go and yeah, the makeup bag is really easy to sew up as well. I would like to do another pattern. I think Sewing Mason has a free pattern if you subscribe to her newsletter. Really like the look of that. And I think Adam, who so Adam sews, shared a makeup bag pattern by himself, and that looks fabulous. It was um, I just watched the vlog the other day. And someone showed me her examples of her makeup bag. It's like three different sizes. And I really like that long look. So that might be a idea for a sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the next present I gave last year was to my husband. And it was Jackson Pullover. He really likes this pattern. I think I've kind of nailed the fit. However, I think I will go down the size now because he's lost a wee bit of weight. Having flu, not flu, he had a really bad cough, cold, um, and he lost a wee bit of weight. And he really wants to trim down again. Um, we both do. So, yes. Um, so, I will probably trim it down. Um, which is good. Which is good. I just have to look at the pattern and trim it down, maybe go down one or two sizes. I'll double check his measurements again because they're quite overdue now. The third pattern that I did for myself, my husband and our dog walker, who Fiamma is absolutely besotted with. Um, I did the Jude Beanie by Stay Stitch. Um, yeah, I love this beanie it's got a good circumference on the head i think it goes up to a 60 circumference you could expand it to be even thicker you just have to work that out um yeah but i really like the jude beanie it's a quick quick so you could probably batch so a lot of them and you can have a double layer so it's super super cozy now for the next patterns these are kind of ideas that i really would really like to do um as well as the other gift bags the makeup bags that i talked about so yes um so the first one is christmas hats now these don't have to be made out of christmas material you could possibly use fat quarters and floral or sort of different prints simple prints you could do plain prints as well um you could probably even do glitter prints plain prints plain fabrics yeah you can just so um there's a couple of patterns out there i will link them in the box below um 
I can't remember which one I saw and I really like the look of it. I want something that you can actually adjust the circumference because some people have big heads, some people have small heads without being, yeah. <laughs> so I would like to do some out of some fabric. Just hold on. I should have got in organised here. I won I won these from a magazine competition last year and I think it's half meters of this gorgeous fabrics um they're so Christmassy without being in your face but yeah I would like to do some Christmas hats out of out of these maybe two of each and yeah i would have to probably get good interface a bit stiffer interfaces and than lightweight facing because i want them to keep this shape um but yeah that's what i would like next up for the geek or everyone's got a laptop cover but if you can find the size of laptop that you're going to gift the laptop cover to that person you could make laptop covers there's a whole host over on pinterest and yeah some are free um i will link a couple of ones that i particularly like down below now for the cook i think this would kind of be aimed at palo or if you had a new house or refurnished kitchen someone had a new kitchen you could gift these um be it oven gloves they are hot on the case here particularly the oven glove pattern by Sona and the Time, Cam Tamlin she designed a pattern which is over on the Soul Haley Jane blog and she's got oven gloves and she'll talk you through how to make them and you can make them out of fat quarters mm -hmm. and there's another pattern and these are other mitts um slightly different if you, it depends what you like or what that person likes and the bomb bombazine one i think free as well so yeah um they're really good and perfect for cooks also you can make a tea towel to go with it i think doing melted corners you can find a youtube tutorial on that and um, just to make them linen would be lovely so yeah if you could kind of just put a napkins tablecloth uh oven glove set put it all in a set i think people would love that if they're cooks if they would like to be in the kitchen also an apron there's the free pattern from helen's closet i think it's called sam's apron i think um yeah if you're up to the newsletter you can download this quite easily Yes, talking of the Jackson pullover, Helen's Closet has also got a hack to turn it into a hoodie. Um, I would like to try this, especially for Palo, just have a wee dif bit of difference. Um, yeah, and fingers crossed it would work out. I think it would work out fine. Um, and it gives them a wee bit of warmth on the head um yeah so that is there if i was going to a new home and i was maybe taking a little present i would make up a little tote bag or a wing bag um there's plenty of patterns out below but i will um link it all in the box below um tote bag cost coat 
bag by Helen's Closet again free pattern you can download it um, I think you have to be a newsletter subscriber but if you sign up to the newsletter subscriber you'll get it and also a keyring fob um, I think that would be a, a lovely little accessory you could actually figure out a way of trying to attach it to the tote bag as well um, and really maybe personalise the tote bag or wine bag as well yeah but if you don't personalise the wine bag then you can give that wine bag to someone else yeah you know last but not least if you've got a reader in your family or friend circle make them a bookmark those little corner bookmarks are just lovely and I think they would be a lovely stocking filler um, and perfect for the book lover so i hope you enjoyed this vlog and take care everyone if you haven't already please give me a little thumbs up and a resubscribe thank you so much for watching take care have a good day bye